Hey, I'm Tuffy Stone, and I'm on the banks of the mighty Mississippi here at Memphis MA. It's the 2023 World Championship, and it's all about pork. If you're not familiar with Memphis MA, you're going to compete in either pork ribs, whole pork shoulders, or whole hog. So while I got a lot to do, and it's a very cool event, and I thought I would take you around, introduce you to some of the legends in barbecue. Uh, maybe we'll even get a sneak peek at some of their processes. We've got some world championship pitmasters here. They might show us some of their tips and tricks and what they do when they're cooking for a world championship. You know, Memphis in May is such a special event. I mean, first of all, it's a world championship. Um, whenever you have the opportunity to cook in a world championship, that's a really good thing for people in the barbecue world. Uh, Memphis in May is really special to me. The first time I cooked Memphis in May was 2010. We had never cooked it before. We were a KCBS type team. We came in here not really knowing what to do. We cooked whole pork shoulder, and we were fortunate enough to take first place that day. You know, so yesterday here at Memphis in May, it was a busy day. I started off the morning doing a demonstration with Weber Grills. From there, we went to a VIP tent where my good friend Melissa Cookston and I spoke to a large group of people about how we cook, what we do, those kind of things. I went right into doing a happy hour with Yeti coolers at my tent. Uh, Weber was so kind to provide the meat. Jack Daniels was so kind to provide the beverages. We had about 150 people come to our tent. So yesterday was really busy. Now it's Friday morning and it's time to get after it. My name is Heath Riles with Heath Riles Barbecue, and uh, I'm from Olive Branch, Mississippi. I'm originally from a small town called Ashland, Mississippi, and I started out cooking in 1997, right out of high school. And I can remember the years that, uh, you know, seeing on TV and, and hoping one day I would be on this riverbank cooking. And so last year to win the, the 2022 World Rib Champ, you know, and be the rib division winner was, uh, was a good heartfelt thing. I really needed that in my soul. I think my journey of food has been incredible and to go right out of high school and work a normal job and just keep honing my craft and started in a local backyard barbecue contest and started cooking KCBS events and, and crawl my way to the top and to be considered even a top 10 competitor in this, in this whole contest by the newspaper and local news media, it's, it's amazing. And so I, I do believe that hard work pays off, patience pays off, but you got to be blessed and you got to be real damn lucky. There's 150 teams down here competing for the grand prize of 20, what, $25,000 check, and they're giving away over 100 grand. So you know it's serious, you know it's real. Put the time in, learn it, watch your cooker. You wanna burn good wood, good fuel, clean smoke. Every little bit matters. A lot of people don't understand that, but the more you put into that food, the more you get out of it at the end of the day, whether it's incredible taste or maybe a little trophy at the end of the day. Hey everybody, Chris Lilly, pitmaster and partner of Big Bob Gibson Barbecue. And instead of at the restaurant, we're down by the river this weekend at Memphis and May World Barbecue Championship 2023. But you know what? We've been doing this since 1997. That's got to be close to 25 years of a cooking competition on the river. One of our favorite contests, it was our first big barbecue contest we came. 
and the first uh, world championship we won. Uh, that was probably back in 1999 with our whole pork shoulder. Since then, we won our pork shoulder 11 times at Memphis in May, and we won five uh, world grand championships here right on the beautiful river, and uh, we're gonna try to do it again this year. We brought all our secrets, and uh, we're ready to go. So we're doing whole pork shoulders again. Uh, that's what we do every year. The process is, is pretty in depth, but we like to keep it simple as well. You know, we just do a simple apple juice based brine injection, keep it clean, keep it simple, dry rub. Then we put it on these big Jedmaster rotisserie pits that burn on Kingsford charcoal. And I like to run pig nut hickory as well. I'm a big believer and shut it up and absolutely forget about it. Uh, I've done this long enough. I know what the meat's doing in there. I like to trap the moisture and the smoke and the natural humidity from the meat in the cooking chamber so I can get a beautiful moist product. And then it's about a 19 hour process of let, letting that roll. Um, I don't like to wrap my pork or anything like that. I just like to uh, keep it self-basting on the rotisserie right directly over the coals all night long until the product is perfectly done and, and just sort of almost fall apart tender. Ready for those judges. We are brother-sister team, Brad Brooke from the Shed Barbecue and Blues Joint in South Mississippi, Ocean Springs. Yeah, we've been, this is our 17th year at Memphis and May. Our parents raised us uh, to smile, be nice yeah. to people, and uh, go get what we want. And today is apparently what we wanted 23 years ago. Did we know the direction it was gonna lead us? Did we know that we were gonna meet an entire extended family in the world of barbecue? No, but it's, it's gratifying to be right here today. Beautiful, and we are competing in whole hog. Oh wow, we have twin 280 pound Duroc hogs. These are the largest hogs on the park, largest hogs we've ever cooked. When we saw them, we were kind of scared if they were even gonna fit in here. But the Willis has two fireboxes, and that's really what sets this, this pit apart. Other than it looks like a Jeep. Yes. The, uh, so it has a wood firebox, and a charcoal firebox. And um, so when we get the color right, we use sugar maple, hickory, pecan, apple, a little bit of peach. When we get the color right on the hog, we don't add any more wood. We just continue the 24 hour cook with charcoal. So we have taken in the last 17 years, our amazing team has taken three first place in whole hog and two world grand championship titles. Yes. yes. And so we're hoping to capture that one again. Uh, this year and we're we're also cooking all the categories yes. so we have about 28 people on our team we have 15 states represented so people come in from all over the country we're all fierce friends and fierce competitors so we divide and conquer in a in an event like this at MSMA and a walk's a walk so we enter every category hey I'm Big Mo Kason Mo Kason Barbecue. I'm down here at Memphis and Main World Championship, Barbecue Championships. Uh, this is like my favorite cook-off. I, I used to do a lot of them over the years, um, but I've kind of only do a handful anymore. But Memphis and May is always on my map to come do every year. It's just like family. A lot of these teams I don't see but once a year, and uh, it's just, I love it. But uh, yeah, I'm from Des Moines, Iowa, man, corn-fed, man, and uh, come from a big family, and I uh, love barbecue. So I entered a category called pork shoulder. There's three main categories on Saturday, whole hog, whole shoulder, or ribs. And I love shoulder. Um, I've pretty much cooked that with my team for the, this is my seventh year. Uh, I'm dealing, I'm going head to head with these heavyweights like Tuffy Stone, Chris Lilly, and Sweet Swine of Mine. So you know what I mean? Ain't no mountain too high for a good stepper. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my game on and do what I gotta do and just do the best that I can, my team in, and turn it in and that's what you gotta do, man. And so, but cooking Memphis and Maine, that's why I love this cook-off because it's a challenge. You know, there's nothing wrong with the other sanctioning bodies. I've done them all. A lot of them, the other contests, you just do a blind box and you turn it in and that's it. But with Memphis and Maine, what makes it so special is not only you have a blind box you gotta turn into the judges, right after that, you're gonna have three on-site judges that come in 15 minute intervals. And this is when you see these beautiful structures and people having their booth all set up because you're coming in and inviting someone into your area and you got to talk about why, why this is the best pork shoulder or the best hog or the best ribs they're going to have that day. You got to believe in what you're doing. You know what I mean? And it takes experience to doing that. You got to be able to talk that game. You, you got to let the individual know that this is going to be the best thing they're going to have that day. Hi, I'm Melissa Cookston and we are at the Memphis and May World Championship Barbecue Fest. And I'll tell you, whole hog is the category to be in. 
So once I get my hogs on the cooker, I will cook them at 275 degrees for almost 20 hours. I want some rest time. So we're getting started here about 24 hours before our blind box turn in, which is at 1.15 p.m. on Saturday. And then we'll have our first on-site judge at 1.30. So we'll spend about an hour with on-site judging where I'll give a presentation to the on-site judges about our cooking apparatus, the smoke that we use, rubs, injection, also about our team, you know, we're Yazoo's Delta Q from Hernando, Mississippi, and we're proud of that fact. I'm from the Mississippi Delta, and that's really what I want my barbecue to emanate. It's 4.30, it's Saturday, turn-ins are done, uh, on-site presentations are done. This year, it was not Cool Smoke's turn. We did not make finals and we're not gonna be in the top 10 overall. We had a good cook, the team worked hard. We felt like our blind box was good and we felt like our on-site entries were good, but obviously not good enough this year. Uh, some of our good friends did make finals. Uh, I, from what I understand, Heath Riles is going to be in the top 10 in ribs. Uh, my friend Shane McBride, uh, Ribdiculous, is going to be in ribs. I have heard that Blues Hog is in the finals again this year. They won shoulders two years ago, won Whole Hog uh, last year, and they're in the finals for Whole Hog this year. And then my good friend uh, Mo Quezon, Big Mo, he made finals for the first time today. I think the first time, he's been, he's been grinding for a long time on the circuit. Memphis May has been on his bucket list to, and he's very emotional. Um, and he puts his heart and puts a lot of hard work into, into his uh, career of barbecue and his cooks. And today it paid off and he was so blown away when that, that golf cart showed up to let him know he had made finals. So in two hours we'll go to awards and we're going to see uh, who the top, uh, who's winning each category and who's the overall grand champion.